Okay, another update from the office. So I'm uh, at work again, and again I'm sitting in front of my 3D TV, which is why I'm wearing the dorky stereo glasses. Um, of course, this time you don't see the 3D TV because I put background removal back into the code. What that means is, initially I let the camera capture the environment without me and the chair in it. Uh, so then for each pixel I recorded the depth value. And now that I'm in the frame, I just remove every pixel that falls into uh, those depth values that I recorded initially, which means it's essentially a cheap person's green screen. Um, the background is more or less gone. You still see a little bit of flicker. I'm working on that still. Um, but otherwise you see me, um, but you don't see anything else. The other thing I have here is my trusty OB controller, uh, and I'm using that to control the 3D software that I'm going to show. Uh, what I really want to do is go beyond just using the 3D uh, video from the Kinect as 3D video by itself, but going more towards the application that I really have in mind for this in the long run. So the idea being that you can use it to control um, three-dimensional applications and merge it with computer-generated imagery. So the, the program that we're looking at here right now, well right now it doesn't look like much, uh, is called the, uh, the Nanotech Construction Kit. It is a uh, pretty much an interactive molecular dynamics simulation. It allows me to build molecular structures uh, from scratch just by manipulating uh, atoms and putting them in there interactively and just setting it up here a little bit. So the idea there is I have this box uh, in which the simulation runs and I can just reach into that with my hand and if I press a button on the Wii controller then I'm just going to create a new atom. You can see that here. So these atoms are, this is a carbon atom and it's, a, it's represented as a triangle and has three little red balls sticking there. The reason why I chose a triangle for this in this particular molecular configuration, uh, each carbon atom bonds with three neighbors, which is why we have three of these red balls, those are the bonds, um, and the bond angles are 120 degrees. So by just pressing the button again, I can make another atom. If I bring them close to each other, they, they bond. They don't really want to bond, but you have to force them a little bit. So by just connecting these guys interactively, I can make all kinds of following structures in this particular configuration, meaning I could make uh, nanotubes or buckyballs or pretty much whatever you want. Um, this program has been around for a while, uh, but I just figured it would be a good example uh, to show how the combination with the Kinect and this here works. So the idea being that you can actually see me uh, interacting with the three-dimensional space uh, and putting the atoms in uh, exactly where they belong. So if I were to point at one of these atoms, like this one here, you can see how I'm pointing at it. I can also use the other hand because it's tracked by the video, so right there. And in general it's just the integration of this interactive computer generated imagery and the real life 3D video feed from the Kinect that I see as the um, as the big interesting application from my point of view. So I don't really want to continue doing this. If I don't interrupt myself I get carried away and end up building the entire buckyball which is going to take like, I don't know, way too long to be interesting. So I just wanted to uh, give you a little update um, that I've been playing with uh, with background removal. Uh, some of you might have been wondering why I haven't jumped at the opportunity yet to put two connects together because a friend of mine actually donated one to the course yesterday, so I have two now. Um, and that's really because capturing a room is not my first priority. Uh, my first priority is capturing the people in the room, for which I still need two connects, we know that, um, and then putting them into a computer-generated environment like this one here. So yeah, that's, uh, uh, that's it for the update today. Uh, in case you're wondering why I'm wearing a shirt today, uh, believe it or not, I had a report from the New York Times uh, here earlier this morning. I know. So uh, there will be an article soon. All right. Uh, have a good one, everyone. And I'll come back with some more updates in a bit.